الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. The topic of today's talk is Quran, the impact on humanity. What the Quran has mentioned, and through the verses of the Quran, what the Muslims has implemented in our daily life, the Quran and Hadith. It is a very long series that we are doing. Inshallah. Allah says in the Quran, in the Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 168. Allah says, Ya ayuhan nasu, kulu mimma fil arudu halalan tayyiba, wala tattabi khutwatu shaytan, innahu lakum aduwum mubin. That, Ya ayuhan nasu, O mankind, Eat from the earth whatever is lawful and good, and be not follow the footstep of the devil, the footstep of shaitan. Indeed, he, the shaitan, is your open enemy, your plain enemy. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 172, Allah says that. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu, O oh, you who believe, eat from the good things we have provided for you. This verses of the Quran is reminding me and you that besides we eat halal food, we should eat what is also tayyib, what is good. We cannot eat junk food, otherwise we will fall sick. We will consume what it's lawful, but it will give us some kind of disease. So, besides eating halal, we have to eat what is also known as tayyib, what is good. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah to Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 59, Allah says that, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, atay Allah wa atay on Rasul. O you who believe, obey Allah and obey his messenger. And those who has been given authorities and our scholars. And if two scholars differ with each other, go back to the original sources. Go back to the Quran and authentic hadith. Our beloved prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, it is mentioned in hadith that the prophet peace be upon him said that, Oh, Believers, whoever is ready to perform salah and he feel hunger and the food is ready, eat before you perform salah. This hadith is telling us that if you are hungry, you feel hunger and the food is ready and salah time is also ready, eat before you perform salah. So that you may have concentration in your salah. So in my place, we call it a binchi before salah, which means a binchi is a Hausa word, which means food. You eat before you perform salah. It's very important. In Islam, every rich person who has who who has a saving more than the sub level, more than 85 grams of gold, he or she should give 2.5 in that savings every lunar year in charity. And the state should look after the poor people and give it to them. And the list of those who should receive the zakah money is given in Surah to Tawbah, chapter 9, verse number 60, that the zakah should be given to the poor, to the needy, to
to the traveler, to the person who had inclined towards Islam, and the list goes on. Surah to Tauba, chapter 9, verse number 60. In the early 9th century, in the early 9th centuries, Ziryab, he said that based on the hadith of the prophet saying that we should eat before performing salah, he wants to introduce, he wants to give a fatwa so that we use the zakah money to feed the poor in the way that they eat before they perform salah. So the states agree with him and they establish this in the early 9th centuries. Ziryab established this in the 9th centuries and the community, they have a place where the poor will go and have a meal. And they do it in the way that it should be before Salah. So he said that when the poor don't have money to buy food to consume, and the Prophet peace be upon him has said that everyone should eat before you perform Salah so that you can have concentration, then it is obligatory on us Muslims when we give Zakah, the Zakah money some of the money should feed the poor in such a way. So he established this system where every before Zuhur Salah, they have to eat, they have to have a meal. Before Asr Salah, they have to have a meal. And before Maghrib Salah, they have to have a meal. So in a day, it is three times a day. This meal, three times a day, did help the poor in the community but later when the rich also find out that is very important for everyone to have something before they pray so the rich also come and give money to the people so that in the day they will eat three meals a day so when this idea spread beyond islamic land the non-Muslims, when they see that this is where the restaurant started, this is how restaurants started. So when the non-Muslims see this idea, they found it a very strange. So they think that when we said three meals a day is a healthy to the body, they did not know how three meals a day did occur. Three meals a day was not something which a doctor approved it. It was to fulfill the hadith of the prophet that we have to eat before we perform salah. So they choose Zuhur, Asr, and Maghrib to prepare meal for the poor. And later, the rich buy the food. That is how we got restaurant in this world. This is what brought the restaurant into about so the whole world today every part of the world you go today there is a restaurant through the process where they want to feed a poor and the rich start buying the food and they found it that then this is how we should make the society where we cook so after every, before salah they will have meal before they perform salah so it become like part of the islamic society so it was three meals a day. And today, even today, we say that if you have three meals a day, it is healthy for the body. So it started, it was not the doctors who brought this idea. It was the hadith which we are fulfilling. And today, even we boast and we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this. Alhamdulillah. It is very important that we understand and that is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in Surah to Qalam, chapter 68, verse number 4, that, Inna ka ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Indeed, thou, the Prophet, peace be upon him, has exalted moral conduct. 
the prophet peace be upon him he has the best character the best behavior for people to know for people to understand and Allah also said in Surah Al-Azab, chapter 33, verse number 21, لَكُوَ دِكَيْنَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا That indeed, in the Messenger of Allah, has the best example to follow. Alhamdulillah. Today, because of the Prophet saying, today we have restaurants in the world, and today even the doctors approve that if you have three meals a day, it is beneficial to the body. Alhamdulillah. My name is Abdul Malik. You can follow us on Facebook, Islamic U Foundation. You can like and share our videos. You can also follow us on YouTube, Islamic U Foundation. Subscribe, like, and share. You can also follow us if you want to call us or if you want to message us on WhatsApp, Telegram. Our number is plus three nine three five one one nine one six six seven five. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.